Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's review we're going to be taking a look at Destiny Connect. Developed by Nippon Ichi and published by Nis America. So a massive thanks to them for the early review copy and making this video possible. So Destiny Connect is kind of a JRPG but without the typical anime kind of style you would expect. This one's got a bit of a different graphic style. This is definitely the most noticeable thing. It kind of reminds me slightly of Kingdom Hearts, but obviously not quite as well done as Kingdom Hearts. But it's definitely interesting to see a JRPG with a slightly different graphic style. So, you know, even though it's not done exactly the best it could be done, it props to them for trying something different. So in Destiny Connect, you play as a party, mainly of a little girl called Sherry, uh, her friend called Pedreo, and a robot which kind of reminds me of uh, the robot from Breath of Fire 4, which was pretty cool. And that's basically what's going on. All the enemies are going to be different types of robots or things that you would normally find around the house but have somehow came to life, like televisions, cookers, microwaves, and a whole other bunch of stuff. It's kind of quite bizarre, but um, yeah, it's definitely weird and unique in that aspect, I guess. Now, the gameplay wise, we said it was a JRPG, it is a quite a simple JRPG mechanically. You have an attack button, you have a skill section with different skills, each with their own element. You can do elemental damage, be resistant or weak against elemental. Some enemies will be resistant to water, some will be non resistant to water, you know what I mean. And really that's about it, like you've got your protect command and items and uh, really there's not much more to combat. It definitely feels like one of those uh, JRPGs that maybe if you're younger uh, and would like to get into JRPGs this seems like quite a good start. Also because of like the innocent dialogue and stuff like that and the characters it seems like a pretty good JRPG for the younger ones. I don't care what people say about a little girl having a gun, I mean most of the time it's literally just a hairdryer but whatever it's, it's an innocent little game okay now though it is an innocent little game and i do think it is best for people that probably haven't got into jrpgs yet it's not exactly an easy one this isn't the type of game that you can just fly through some of the bosses will make you grind for it a little bit maybe not too much but i did find myself grinding a little bit before certain bosses so it's definitely not going to be a walk in the park if you just run past everything that's for sure now, the thing with the characters, though they do have personality, like I said, it's quite an innocent, simple kind of story. But I think what loses the little personality they do have is the lack of voice acting. There is no voices in this game. You have to read through all of it. And uh, that definitely kind of makes the characters lose a bit of personality because there is quite a lot of dialogue. It's quite a dialogue heavy uh, game though the story isn't that like complex or anything but there is quite a lot of dialogue and it would have been really really nice for at least the main characters to have had a voice because sometimes I just couldn't help skipping through some of it some of it was just too heavy for me to read like I said the enemies are basically things or electronics that have came to life uh, they're quite unique and interesting uh, especially the bosses the bosses are sometimes like transformer type robots or like a massive cooker or something uh, they're kind of interesting in the way that you never know what you're going to see, that's for sure. The animation in combat, like we said, the combat is very simple, but the animations are also quite simple. Sometimes the animations kind of repeat themselves for certain attacks, or like they could have just made a bit better on the animation side of things in combat. Graphic-wise, like we already said, it's kind of just going for this different, more cartoony style uh, instead of the anime, typical anime style that you'd find JRPGs. Like I said, I kind of like it quite a lot, even though the animations could be better. Audio-wise, music's fine, because music's pretty much all you're going to hear in this game. Like I said, no voice acting, so there's not really much more to say about that. But as far as exploration goes, there's a few chests there, here and there, but they're not really hidden since you can see them on the mini-map. And uh, yeah, like in general, it's just a simple RPG. Not, not a bad one, to be honest. Like I said, it seems pretty pretty perfect for the younger ones or people that maybe haven't played many JRPGs and want to kind of get into the genre a bit more. So uh, yeah guys, for me it's going to be a 7 out of 10. Hopefully this reverse helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe and we'll see you next time guys.